Hey everybody, this is Lithu here, and I got a request to show some of the CSS that I'm using for a particular snippet. And I wanted to show you kind of how my workflow process works on that so that you can not only do the specific thing that, that's being asked, but also expand and customize and personalize it to how you want it to be. Bit of a roadmap where we're going. We're going to talk a little bit about CSS. We're going to talk about how to create a pseudo class using some regular expressions and the uh, src attribute going to apply it to a non themed obsidian and then we'll try applying it to a themed obsidian so this is the the image it's uh, avatar.jpg super simple i have this css test which is this big file and then i have this im freeman which is just a, a markdown file and it's just got a, an h1, it's got an h2, it's got a paragraph, and it's got a block reference in there. This is how it looks. Uh, we want it to look more akin to something like this. So how do we do that? So there's a couple of a couple of things. The first is we're using a pseudo class, and that's my word for it. Basically, I'm I'm creatively trying to find a unique identifier that I can call that will allow me to to position an image in different ways. And in this case, it's on the left hand side. I might want one on the right hand side. I might want one up here in the top with like this oval cutout, and then I might want one that's the full screen, right? Takes up the whole thing, and it's big. Uh, just like it is here. So how do I do that without really crazy shenanigans? <laughs> uh, so you'll notice I have one picture, like one avatar JPEG. That's it. There's not multiple instances of it, just the one. What I did here is I, I called this and I called it by avatar.jpg and then I added hashtag portrait to it. So it'd be just like if you were uh, referencing a heading. Now in a document, that'll pull up that heading. Well, an image, it doesn't have that, but it is a unique identifier. Obsidian doesn't care that I have that hashtag there. So if you'll notice, this says uh, hashtag portrait. This one says hashtag side, and it doesn't care. It's just going to put the image up there, which is really nice. So Silver or Lycat, if you're watching, uh, don't change that. Like, keep that there. That's awesome. <laughs> don't, don't break my stuff, please. How do we How do we code this? Let's talk about the images first. I will enable this snippet. So I have test snip images. So we'll turn that on. And so this is how it's rendered with jpeg.portrait. But then inside, it has the absolute file location. This, this source up here doesn't matter. Like the HTML doesn't care that there's a source file for a div. So I can reference this. So, so it, this image is inside this, this uh, divider or this box that has this source. So what I want to do is I want to say, OK, find a div that has source. And I'm going to use dollar sign equals, which is uh, a regular expression for ends with. So the end of line equals uh, whatever's in this in the quotes. So in this case, hashtag portrait. Uh, and then this one is the same. The source ends with something that is equal to hashtag side. Uh, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to position this one as absolute with a width of 200 pixels. I'm going to move it in from the right 50, move it down from the top 50, and then I'm going to be doing a clip path ellipse. Now, clip path is fun. I'll link to this uh, in the description. So this is a CSS clip path. You can clip it to a rhombus. And the nice thing is you can animate these. You can go from one to the other, and you can go crazy. You can go nuts. Most of these are going to be polygons, and you're just specifying where so you could do something like that and you're just specifying where the points are per, like xy coordinates by percentage but if you do a circle you have an at value and two percentages which in this case is 50 50 which means it's in the middle your other two values if i move this one in you'll notice this is 11 percent. so what's what, what it's saying is from the center to this point is 11 percent, and from the center to this point is 45 percent and then you can copy this or you can just edit the values so i'm positioning this as absolute you could do you could 100 percent do a fixed position which is going to then leave it there as you scroll width you can do a percentage you could say 20 percent and then it's going to grow and shrink or you can have it as a a set value and it's really whatever you want to do the other thing you could do you can 100% do relative and float it to the right. 
and then you're 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 going to flow around it like that. The other one I have is side. So this is uh, this one. I have a position relative floated left. Again, uh, you could copy this entire thing and go side right, and then float it right. It's not going to change anything here, but as soon as I put side right, that's over here. Now it's over here. Or for really fun times, I can have one of each. <laughs> let's not go there. Tis a silly place. Width, I have this one as 30%. I put a margin of 10 pixels around it just so it has some breathing room. Five pixels at the top so it kind of lines up with your, your paragraph, and then nothing on the bottom. You can add a border, you can add drop shadow, you can go wild. So that's images. Quotes are a little bit more tricky. I'm calling it in a similar way but you can't have a hashtag. So I have two quotes. I have this quote, and I have this quote at the bottom. So this is just an embedded link to this file. If I hashtag this, I can say, I want the H2 header. And then this though is a embed for this uh, block right there. And so the way that you can do this, let me just delete this so it breaks. And like this is what you'd start with, right? Use a bang, exclamation point, whatever you want to call it. Brackets, and then you're going to use your, your caret twice to do a global search. And then you're just going to search for something that's in this paragraph. Uh, crowbar sounds good. And it's going to auto-generate this. So the div source is this. right? And then inside there is the markdown embed, embedded content, preview view, the sizer. Uh, then you have just a, a blank div and then your paragraph element. So what you want to do is go to this file, right, where it creates this and add a suffix to it. So in, the, in this case, it's, uh, what did I have? SBQ for a sidebar quote. Let's look at our CSS here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this snippet on so it actually works and you can see what it's doing. <laughs> and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to position relative floating right I'm going to background color it this blue. You can do whatever. You can do a variable in there from your theme, whatever you want. Uh, width, 35%. Margin, 5 pixels. I'll put this in here. Uh, I want to say I had it at negative 20 pixels, just so it's kind of hanging out over the, the edge. So you can, you can do whatever you want with that. I'm going to comment that out for right now, just so it's in line. Width is 35%. Again, you can change it wherever you want. And then I just have a general five pixel margin around the outside, except for the left. I have a little, uh, I have double margins just so it gives it a little breathing room. And and that's with, with it here. If you're bumping it out to the right, you, you won't need that. And then I'm clip pathing it with a polygon. Uh, and then with the code inside this, so I'm, I'm looking at the embed link inside Anything that's a sidebar quote, I have it hidden, so it's not there. Uh, you can comment this out. And because I'm doing it inside of this, you'll notice that it doesn't mess with your normal embed. So your normal embed has has your has your link. Uh, same here. So your markdown embed, I'm setting margin. So normally this has a pretty large margin. And then in the preview view, I'm just adjusting the padding. So basically the bottom is 40 pixels to account for the clipping. You can do font family, font size, font style, color, whatever you want. I just threw random stuff in here because I was making a an example to see if it was what people want. Yeah, you can make it red. Yeah. Or you can make it black. Ah. Yeah, you know, you can make a comic sans if you want. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not telling you how to live your life. The one thing that is the downside. So what I could do is I could copy this change this and make a new one. So I could do left. But here's the problem. In order to change this, I have to change it two different places. I have to change it here. So this has to be SBQ left. And I have to change it here in order for it to work. So the problem is that if I wanted to have this quote on, say, this page on the left, and then in another page on the right, 
I would essentially have to have two instances of this, but you would have to have a left and a right double instanced as, as something you're going to quote. That's the, the downside. Uh, the images, don't need it. One image, reference it how you want, it's great. Block quotes, eh, not so much. Still trying to find a way to do that where you just change it here, right? It's the same block quote and you just change it here. If I do find it out, I will let you know. Or if you find it out, let me know. That's how it works. All right, last thing. I promised I would do this. Uh, let's go to settings and let's do a theme. Uh, I have minimal theme on this because I was testing that for a friend. Now let's see how things work. <laughs> That's uh, the thing about minimal theme is it gets rid of the margin, right? which honestly is kind of nice. I do like it sometimes to have just a really clean uh, look, but sometimes you want stuff to pop out. Like if you're reading a book, books generally have margins. Now they're not giant, uh, which is what happens with uh, without minimal theme, right? With a normal theme. Uh, the downside to minimal, um, like if I was using this, I would probably have a max width on this. Uh, max width is 300 pixels. And now if you go out, it's just going to hang out over there. It's not going to get crazy long. It'll scale up and down, but not side to side. If you have any questions, hit me up on the forums uh, on Discord. Uh, if you want me to cover any of the other weird shenanigans I ended up doing on CSS, uh, hit me up and I'd be more than happy to show you.